Good morning, sunshines. Happy Tuesday. The, it's the last day of our break. Is it the last day of May also, or is that tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, okay, so today's May 30th. Hi. We are on Memorial Day break, kind of. I mean, she is. I have to go into school for PD, which is fine. I want to come with, but she wouldn't let me. No. So, we're walking together because downtown is on the way to school, so. And we don't have breakfast food at home. Nope, because the other one ate all the muffins. So, I'm dropping this one to the downtown so she can go to the bakery, and I'm going into work. It is a lovely day. And if I have, and if I have enough, I'll go to Black Hat as well. That's the coffee shop next door. She is not going to have enough. It's fine. Okay, so welcome to my messy room. This is what I think I'm wearing. So black top, black bottom. But I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to cut out the back. I think I might cut a triangle, like a big open triangle, and then like cut little slits and kind of like make it a spine thing. That's what I'm thinking. I will check back in, but that is my current plan. It's like kind of comfy, kind of slutty cute, not too much. Definitely wearing earrings and a little bit of makeup. This is why I can't be trusted at the library. This is the only book that's already on my summer reading list. Okay, that I mean, it's not the only book. Obviously, there's 20 books on my summer reading list. But like, this is the only one that I picked up today from the library that's on my summer reading list. This is not, but like, it's got a book boyfriend in it. And it wasn't there last time I was at the library. And so obviously, I had to get it. This is that Rumpelstiltskin story. It's the second book. I'm so excited. And then Nick Stone Chaos Theory, like, it's on my eventual to read list. May as well be now. And then Shatter Me, I, I was, TikTok told me I had to. TikTok told me that my book boyfriend lived in this book, and I was like, well, I haven't read that, so I guess I'll put that on hold. It, it was, it was the middle of the night. TikTok makes me do things in the middle of the night sometimes, like, put books on hold. So... Yeah, I don't know what my plans were this weekend. I haven't actually written a to-do list yet, but it's going to be very short because my plan this weekend is now to read. And I'm torn between whether I'm going to start Cursed and read about my current book boyfriend or like a, a book boyfriend who's already on the roster or whether I'm going to start Shatter Me and add a new book boyfriend to the roster. Possibly. I don't know. Hello, sunshine. Heather from the future here. I sound terrible. Um, I lost my voice for a week and it's, it's coming back, but it's not there yet. So from this point in the, in the vlog on, it's just video clips without me talking because I sound like this or worse. For a lot of the week, I sounded way worse than this. So um, so just so you know, it's all pictures and video, and I will see you really, really soon. All right? Bye for now.
little tiny murder birds. Good day. Mm hmm. All right, sunshines, it is Wednesday evening. Hello, I don't think I've really checked in with you at all this week. Um, I'm working on two test knits for uh, Alandria Knits, the person who I test knit a lot of socks for. Yeah, she had two. The first one was this color work, and um, my colors are not super, super sharp because one is a tonal and the other is also kind of a tonal but it has these flecks in it but I really love what's going on to me it looks like shadows on a forest floor 
I mean, I can see the pattern. I can clearly see it, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. And so I started this one first. And then like a week later, she she put out a call for a test knit for shorty socks. And I like this, but I can't work at th- work on this at school. And none of my other projects right now are school friendly knitting. So I was like, okay, shorties. I looked at the picture and I was like, oh, I can do that while walking around at school. So this is the other one. And it's just, it's really, really effective, but not super complicated pattern. Look how cute that is. And even though it's two colors, it's, um, it's not difficult to just carry around in my pocket and work on a few stitches here and there. I'm past the gusset. I don't remember the names of the patterns right off the top of my head. I'm sorry. So like, here's the thing. So looking at this, if I were to do it again, like if I were to go back in time, I would switch these sets of colors. Like I would use these for the shorties and these two. Where's the other one? Here it is these two for the color work to get that nice crisp contrast, but I'm not mad with what I'm getting. I actually really, really like that. I just feel like, okay, so this is the problem. Not a problem, but like this is the thing. I feel like this is beautiful and I love this, but I feel like this isn't what color work is supposed to look like. Like color work is supposed to be super crisp, but I actually like that it's kind of subtle. I actually love that it's kind of subtle. So those are what I'm working on. Uh, I need to get on it because both of them are due on the 18th of June, I think. So 16th of June and it's the 7th right now. I just need the first sock for both. So plenty of time still. I just need to need to focus on it. Um, I'm almost to the heel though. I just have a handful of rounds to go before I start the heel on this one. So that'll be easy. And if I put in like any sort of effort to finish this, it'll be super easy because now I'm past the gusset which means I don't have to pay attention, really. And it also means that I'm about halfway through with the sock. So, yeah, it's going well. I'm also reading Cursed by Marissa Meyer. And um, it's so good. It's so good. It's I'm going to turn you around. It's the second book about... um, basically Rumpelstiltskin and Sir Linda. It's Guild and Sir Linda. So good. So good. I I don't know if you'll remember a month ago, two months ago. When did I read Guild? I feel like it was super recently. Um, so whenever that was, I finished the book and I was like, oh my gosh, there needs to be a second one because I need to know what happens. <gasps> There's a second one. It's so good. I am in love with it. <laughs> It's amazing. I'm also listening to The Gathering Storm, which is not by Robert Jordan. Um, It's one of the Wheel of Time books, but it's one of the ones that was written by someone else after Jordan's death. So I want to say it's like Brandon Sanderson, but I might be making that up. Um, And that's going pretty well, too. I'm almost finished with that. So I'm like kicking butt on my audiobooks for summer, especially since summer hasn't even officially started yet. But I keep, I keep adding books to my TBR, like physical books. And I don't know how much time I think I have to read, but I only have so many weeks of a break for summer. And of those weeks of summer break, four of them are taken up by teaching summer school. Silliness.